Ugh. I am so tired of working at McDonald's. I wish I could be my own boss. Maybe I could be my own boss. What would that even look like? Would I wear a uniform? Could I wear hoodies every day? Huh. How much money would it take to start my own business? I need to make a plan. First things first, dress for success. It's like I'm ready to be an entrepreneur. So what does it take to be an entrepreneur? Well, first you have to have an idea of what you want to do or what kind of either goods or services you want to sell. So I decided that I want to start my own business. The steps I need to take are going to make me a better business owner. So what does it take to be an entrepreneur? First of all, I need to decide whether I want to take the risk of investing in my own company and maybe losing money. Maybe I don't make money for a long time. If that's a risk that I'm willing to accept, then maybe I should be an entrepreneur. So make, I need to make sure that I am thinking about a good or a service that is needed in my community because we have to have demand. The consumers have to want to buy whatever I'm selling or want to buy whatever service I'm providing. So if I'm thinking of things that I'm good at or things that I like, hmm, I could open up a comic book store. I love comics. I love superheroes. I could open up a comic book store. So first I need to think, is there a, is, is there a demand for a comic book store? Well, I know there's one comic book store here in the Woodlands, and that's the only one I can think of. So I think that a comic book store would be great. Another comic book store would be great. So that's something that I can do. So now I have to sit down and come up with a business plan. And what is a business plan? A business plan is where I decide, am I going to have an online store or am I going to have an actual brick and mortar storefront? So am I going to have to um, either buy a building or rent or lease a building to put my store? I decide that. Okay, I have to decide where I'm going to get my stuff. So I need to be able to buy it cheap and sell it for a profit. A profit is the difference between how much I bought it for and how much I decide to sell it for. So let's say if I can buy comic books for a dollar and sell them for five dollars, that would be a four dollar profit. That would be a pretty good deal. So I need to figure that out. What else do I need to do? Oh, how am I going to advertise? How will people even know that I'm a business? I have to think about that. That's called marketing and advertising. What else do I need to think? Well, I need to make sure that I, the way I'm pricing things is competitive with the other comic book stores in the area. So I shouldn't be charging, you know, $20 for a comic when the store over here is only charging $5. So I have to be competitive. I have to make sure that I am charging an amount that the consumers are going to want to pay. Maybe even a little bit cheaper, especially if I'm a new business. The next thing I need to think of is, are there any government regulations that I'm not following? For instance, if I was going to own my own comic book store, there would be no way for me to go ahead and buy up all the comic book stores that there are because that would create what's known as a monopoly. That would mean that I'm the only person providing that service or those goods and I can charge whatever I want. That is an unfair practice. That's something that the government doesn't allow. And yes, it's just like the board game that you play with your family, a monopoly. Because in that game, what we're trying to do is we're trying to buy up all the things that we can buy up in order for us to create a monopoly. And that's how we win the game. But um, in America, that's not allowed. Um, all right. Then once I've got my business plan, I've decided what I'm going to sell or what service I'm going to provide. I've decided how much I'm going to charge. I have decided how I'm going to get my materials to make my goods or how I'm going to perform the service that I'm selling. And then I decide where I'm going to sell and how I'm going to sell them sell online or am I going to sell at a brick and mortar, an actual physical store? Then marketing and advertising. So as you can see, being an entrepreneur is not just saying, I want to do this. It takes a lot of planning. It takes a lot of organization and it takes a lot of risk. For instance, if I spent all this money building a beautiful comic book store and then I uh, spent all this money stocking it full of wonderful comics, what happens if nobody comes and buys it? That's a risk. And you have to decide whether that risk is worth it as a, a business owner and an entrepreneur. All right. Well, I'm off to get my comic book store started. So I'll see you later. Bye.